then Zach, um, and then Urga. Those were my big mains. I never played Swain enough to be a main of his, although before he was reworked, I did play a lot of Swain too. Post rework, I tried, I couldn't do it. New Swain just has too many vulnerabilities, too many weaknesses, not enough strengths. He can still play a fine bot lane, but he can't play the lanes I want to play. Top lane. Zach series over? No, it's not over. It's just that I like to get a few Urgot games in before we pummel the stream with Zach games. Yes, I apparently do like Zon champions. Maybe it's the only ones Riot actually designs well. Who knows? So we're up against a Gangplank. Is Gangplank after the nerfs? I think is like half a champion, though. This is the first time I'm actually going to lane against the post-rework Gangplank. Or post-gutting of Gangplank. Welcome to Rift. See if I can get a jitter going. Come on, come on, come on, Ergot, do it. She's got four legs, you got six. There it is. Get the wit, get the- oh. Oh, walk up in ward, I dare you. Dang, couldn't get the... Couldn't kill the ward. He, just, he actually stood his ground, I wasn't expecting that. Why conquer against Gangplank? I'm uh, more laziness than anything. I was out of the last 10 seconds. I didn't want to swap to PT and potentially not get armor if it didn't have armor. If I had noticed earlier it was a Gangplank and paid attention, I would have gone PTA. And now the, the annoying part begins. Yep, there's the Grasp. Now he just uses it against me every time he can. But luckily... It's a lot weaker now than it used to be. Still, still gonna use, still fucking obnoxious as hell, but at least it does a lot less damage now. But yeah, look at how little damage he does compared to old Gangplank. Like, you could, you could visually see the difference. It's actually crazy. He took a lot of damage there. He took a lot of minion damage. I think that's the bigger issue for him. I do need to be careful. Let this push towards me if I can. God, that's so frustrating. Again, it doesn't hurt as much, which is so nice, but it still hurts. He's out of potions. Again, that play pattern will never not be annoying. Their jungler has shown himself nearby. I gotta leave and just teleport back. He's out of mana. I'll force a teleport out of him, too. Let's just call. No! Fuck, I'm kidding you. I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy. And no! No movement from the mid lane. Awesome. No movement at all from the mid lane. Fucking awesome. And in the meantime, Gangplank just gets a bigger advantage because of that nonsense. Awesome. Why can't I ever get the good jungle? Why? Why can't I get the good fucking jungle once? And there it is, this play pattern that is, that literally defines Gangplank as one of the, if not the most frustrating top laner. He gets to do endlessly. 
He's burned all of his corrupting mo potion stacks. He can still do this. Oh, see. And I'm already out of mana, by the way. I am already out of mana. He has used his Q at least a dozen times. I'm out of mana for the second time. And this was after, after Urgot just got a buff to the mana cost of his Q. Can anybody tell me if that buff did anything? Because I can't tell. Urgot today plays ex identically to what Urgot played like just a week before that buff. Identically. I see no fucking difference. I didn't actually mean to attack that. That's nice. Our Draven's fed. But yeah, he can keep using that ability even now. All right, he, he's got no mana. That doesn't stop him from using it. I got it back again. And this also sets the way to push against me. That that was a double benefit right there. Uh, I'll wait for an armor. Because that actually forced the wave to, to slow push towards me. But yes, how frustrating is it? Gangplank's play pattern hasn't changed. Gangplank still plays identically to what he used to before. Which is, Q you every time the grass proc is up, profit. That's it. Has even landed a barrel on me. One, maybe? Riot needs to reorient Gangplank's kit so the Q spam literally does nothing unless it's to hit barrels. Like, his Q should do, like, 10 damage. That's what it should do. Nothing else. Oh, boy. She is on, she's on her own in it. She's, I'm not going to bother. She's already dead. What on earth is our fucking jungle doing? Can anybody tell me? What the fuck is she doing? She's in the enemy jungle, alone. No vision. No no awareness whatsoever. It's actually taking a lot of poke here. Dead. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You used your orange too soon, friend! Yeah, Gangplank is definitely weaker now. The annoying play pattern is there, but he's definitely weaker. You could see the difference. He doesn't do nearly as much damage as he used to do. Still annoying, but it looks like he's doing a lot less damage. Um, pickaxe, right? Just like this, and more armor. Armor helps against everyone on their team except for the brand. Though their brand does have a lot of kills. Oh my god, my team, my Draven is so... Oh, look at that, another Swain support getting fed out of their mind. Maybe there might be something to this. Maybe I should be picking up Swain support too. Look, I'm not saying the gangplank's OP, it's just frustrating. This play pattern is not fun to play against. He may be weak right now, but it doesn't make it fun. I still It's still a completely uninteractive lane. The only way I can interact with him is if he fucks up. That's it. That's the only way I can fucking interact with him, is if he fucks up. Because that's what happened last fight. He fucked up. A good gangplank would not fuck up the way this gangplank did. But we're playing in relatively low ELO, this is only high gold, I think. And Gangplank's in a historically weak state right now. It doesn't change the fact that this play pattern is frustrating to play against. Because it doesn't really feel like you can do anything as a short-range champion like Urga. That word also won't help me that much, in fact. That word will help me more.
So Instrument's actually really good right now, but that's not the lane he was designed for. Why is it he sucks at every other lane he was actually designed for? I'm so happy he does no damage. Wow, the Lily is once again aggressively counter jungling. Walk up, I dare you. Oh, he just lost a lot of life. Thing is, I had to burn a lot of mana to do that. Well, on his side, you notice he hasn't burned basically. Wow, the Lily is playing aggro, and... Damn it, missed. That would have been a kill if I landed it. Oh my god, did she actually kill the Gangplank? Cool. Pretty sure Gangplank already teleported. Unfortunately, I whiffed my R. I fired it blind. I should have angled myself better to land it. Perfect timing. I'm not afraid. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not. Oh. Nearly killed him! But I'm out of mana, so let's just leave. Oh, I just teleport. Fuck it. If I need to TP, I'll TP. That brand's lucky I wasted my R earlier. He'd be dead right now. Because I landed my E, the R is guaranteed at that point, unless, of course, I'm being an idiot. Which happens. Idiocy does happen. And he already has his mythic done. Incredible. 20 CS behind me. Then again, I did buy um, Bramble and Call. The Call will come in handy. Oh, that was unexpected. I was not expecting the Lily to just be able to fuck him over so hard. Nice. Yeah, Gangplank's a weak champion now. Again. It seems like a weird... Oh, he's yelling at the cat. I mean, I'm happy that he's not as frustrating as he was before, but that play pattern has not changed. You ain't getting out. Okay, then. <laughs> Works for me. I'll take it. This Lilia, who started off so terribly, still isn't doing great, but I will say this. She is actually proving quite the formidable jungler now. Nice. Nice. Thanks for the, thanks for the barrels. Yeah, at this ELO you can basically expect your gangplanks are not going to be barrel experts. Come on, walk up, I dare you. I'm not in this brush. I swear I'm not in this brush. And now we zone it. Just completely zone him out from farming experience. You don't need any. I'll take the ex I get the experience, I don't need the farm. I'm getting all the experience, he's getting nothing. It's a really frustrating play pattern, even if it feels weak. God, that is so frustrating. Got his flash. Did he use the... Yep! He used the orange! Yes, he did! He did use the orange! Oh... Yeah, that's the reason why he flashed. No orange left. I think I can actually take the turret before he revives. Your team has destroyed a turret. 
You'll help the Lilia. I don't think she needs my help, but I'll help her anyways. Oh, did I get it? I got his flag. No! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Where the fuck was your smite, dude? I knew I shouldn't have praised this Lilia. Didn't fucking smite. Are you kidding me? Or she failed her smite, which is just as bad. Damn, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. I put myself out for her. What do I get in return? Punishment. I'm actually considering going Adaptive Helm against the brand. Since their team is all physical, I could just go Heavy Armor. Is she gonna kill him? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Jesus Christ, look at her go. She's so dead. My god, that was disgusting. Um. Okay, then I guess I'll go mid. Let's take that turret. Brand hit the eye. Oh. Uh, I thought I got the eye at some point with my W. Apparently I did not. And the eye still, I believe, does less damage than a smite would. I know there's a pink ward there, but it's always good to have extra vision. Where is the gameplay? Shut down. I think we found him. He does not aim those barrels. That was an edge-to-edge -edge barrel. Really difficult to do. Nice. <laughs> nice killing his barrel got me the CS behind it. I'm gonna level up on him. Huge item advantage now. My call has finished as well. Thanks. Nice ward. Shame it died so early in its young life. Man, the brand is showing a lot of attention outside of lane. Oh, fuck, this is fine. We'll leave these items in. That guy's dead. <laughs> ah! Flash saved his life. My, my R would have connected. Well, aren't you all dead? Yeah, you're all dead! Yes, you are all dead! Ouch! Ooh. Healing! Mmm, yum, I like healing. Yeah, I don't know why the Kalen went so aggro there. That was never gonna work out. I'm really strong at the- Oh my god, I made in one. When the fuck did that happen? Um, I don't remember ever being this fed earlier. Nice Rift Herald mid. I'm so happy the Titanic doesn't proc on the turret anymore. What a fucking difference. Nice Rift Herald. You know, you could have snug up, dropped it next to the turret, it's almost guaranteed to land, but no. Nah. I don't think you need this. I don't think you need this farm. I think Lilia needs it more. Isn't that right, Lilia? Come here. Uh, I was hoping the sleep was gonna hit the own. 
I, I thought it was gonna, I was hoping he was gonna hit the yawn before he had any chance to do anything. He bounced back before then. Oh, well. Hey, Gangplank, are you sure you want to be this far forward? Well, he's gotten rid of his escape route. Uh, I just screwed myself there. Did I? Yeah, I think I did. Wasting any time roaming. My my team's strong enough they shouldn't need my help. It's 31 to 23. I know I'm really fed, but oh my god, my teammates are actually not that fed. It's just the swing. Uh okay. I actually have most of my team's gold, don't I? I mean, if they don't stop me, that's 600 gold. I'll take. Oh, that was a dumb orange. That was a really dumb orange. He should have prayed that my um, uh, that my R kicked in too early. Shots, I'm fine. Yes, at this point I am her god. Nine and one. I am most of my team's lead, unfortunately, which means I am gonna have to carry this. But then again, I did just get to complete two items. I think I will go for a carry item next. Maybe a GK or maybe Cleaver. I haven't built Cleaver in like forever. I kind of want to go bottom. It looks like Aurelia's headed that way. Let's let's lean mid slash bot. Going to the enemy's jungle. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now he's dead. Okay, our Draven's not too bright. Not too bright. It's a blue cane, though, so I shouldn't feel threatened. Hi, how you doing? Anybody want to fight me? Hi, I'm mid lane. Would anyone like to fight me? Come on, kill me. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I just got CC chained there. Damn. Damn, I got CC chained. Couldn't use my E to save my life. At least the swing got one. Also, I thought that was the cane that was in front of me. That was the Yone. Oops. Yeah, that was a 1v4. Maybe I'm not that strong. Yeah, I got the stun there. Snap trap happened earlier, so I don't count that. That's 2.31 seconds. It was mostly the brand stun. You know what? I'm feeling the cleat. Let's get the cleat. Okay, my teammates are starting to throw pretty hard here. I threw pretty hard there, too. But my teammates are especially I'll keep my teleport and go top. Stop bashing the army's doing the best they can. I'm here. Let's see if he thinks I'm not. He, I don't think he spotted me yet. And the Swain killed the other guy. That works. I mean, we could do Baron, but yeah, let's do Baron. Why not? Lily is coming back up. They just lost their jungle. This should be... Oh. Uh, ow. Ow. I completely did not notice the brand. I did lose a bit too much life there. Well, that was dumb of me. I completely... Uh, I was completely looking for the next thing to do, and the brand just chunked me. Chunked me hard. That's enough for at least to get the uh, Caulfield's Warhammer. Let's get it. Is 
The Draven is playing so fucking aggro. He's 10 and 9, so he's actually the only person on the team other than me and Swain that are actually doing well right now. The 10 and 9 is just barely, barely coasting by. Enemy team, they only have one person. Come here. There's, there's somewhere for me to teleport to. Ah! She flashed my R. Aren't I scary? The answer is yes, I am terrified. Jesus, she's almost dead. Yep, this turret's mine. Gangplank is Gangplank's busy split pushing. Good for him. Totally worth it to get a turret top lane for an inhibitor bot. Totally worth it. Nice ult. That totally stopped us. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. You are a credit to your team, 187 split pushing gangplank. Absolute credit to your team. Yes, I am dead. I was not expecting him to be able to land everything after I eat away. He was still able to land his entire kit after I had already eat out. Just to give some perspective to how short range Urgot is and how weak his dash is. Whatever, at least we got an head out. She lived, somehow. I don't know why she's still doing this. Did she have smite? Actually, she's healing really well. It must be the passive of work. Hmm, 200 more gold, damn. Yeah, the brand is going to be a problem. He's the biggest source of damage on the enemy team, which is hilarious to say. The enemy support is the biggest source of damage on their team. I mean, champions like brand are problematic for that, that they can be the support. They can, not, they can do modest, not like 10 and 9, is, is the same as our Draven, basically, but he only has 50s farm versus our Draven's 200, and yet, he is proving a bigger nuisance than our Draven's, because he's doing an absurd amount of damage while our Draven just keeps dying in the split. Yeah, we should do this. Why not? I got ghost. I'm just waiting. Jesus, the way took too much damage. Oh, come on! I wanna die. Wow, I still ended up dying there. We still got two kills. Damn, that's frustrating. How much damage did the brand do this time? Oh, that's right, most of my life. Of course. Why wouldn't it? It only reduces damage by 43%. Good, she actually got it this time. I was kind of afraid the gangplank ult was going to get it. Alright, it's still worth. And I do have enough money to get... I need to get Anathemus, just slap it on him. He's the only... Like, seriously, I don't think there's a threat on the enemy team even remotely as big as the brand. The brand connects his whole kit on me. I'm dead, actually. I lose the vast majority of my life. Because he's got Leon. No, he doesn't have Leon. That's an odd choice. Is Lily gonna lose that? What, Lilia? The fuck are you doing, Lilia? Alright, Draven, all yours. Can we win this? He's got this. I'd... Yeah, he's got that. He's 14 and 10 now. Look at that. He's doing well. What a surprise. Yeah, he has health percent damage on his passive. Which is the reason why he's such a strong champ in that regard. Alright, Audrey, I finished my drink. I'm ready for the next. What do you mean, go ahead? I'm, I'm in the middle of a game, but I will do it. Fuck! 
You flashed to me? You want me to kill you? Okay. Well, that's game. Nice. Nice barrels, sir. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Draven is strong! Holy fuck, he's strong! Right, connect. And that's all their inhibs. Welcome to GG. It's not gonna go well, is it? Oh. Ow. God, that is frustrating. Yeah. Yes. Just for the brand. Because that's how nasty his damage is. I'm just gonna push this lane in. Man, doubling hips down. This is gonna be rough for them. I should be careful. Alright, never mind, I don't need to be careful. Nice barrels. Shame if somebody were to kill them. Treat. This crab is out! Wow, that Caitlyn flash was hilariously bad. I mean, soul is free. Just take it. Yeah. There it is. Soul is free. There was no way for them to contest it because they sent so many people to deal with me and failed. I'm gonna go get a red buff. I could use some. I could use a red buff, right? It's like 20%. Ugh, it's disgusting. And it's worse. That health percent damage grows um, as a factor of um, how many times he hits. He lands three. That that explosion damage is massive. earth are my teammates doing? What on earth are they doing? Uh, there's no objectives in mid lane. The only objective is top lane. The only reason why I am top excuse me, the only objective is bot lane. The only reason why I'm top lane right now is because I can split their attention and make it easier to take that objective. Why didn't you let me absorb it, you idiot? Wow, I was so dumb of the Lulia. She didn't even get the damn it hit. Uh, this game might actually be a loss for us, frankly. My allies are acting like morons. The jungle farm gap, though. Ho! Oh! Yeah, no fucking kidding. Oh, hi there. You guys want to fight me? God, oh, God, I'm, I'm dead then. Well, that sucks. Just didn't quite have enough damage. But hey, Draven does. One more, one more. There it is. Draven does. Oh my. Wait, how the fuck did he heal back to full? I guess that's game. That should be game. Yeah, just push down the mid.
Got it. My build is complete. Uh, oh my god, look at that damage. Look, he's dead. Why do I have idiots for allies? Serious. And why is Bran so absurdly fucking strong as a support, damage-wise? Look at that damage. And the Lily actually lost the 1v1. This game should be over right here. They should just end it. I'll just end it. Just end it. I have arrived! It's me! I'm Urgot! Hi! I helped! <laughs> I did. I probably did the most damage on our team. I may I died more times than I probably should have, but let's be honest here, my allies did far worse. Far, far worse. The mistakes I made were mistakes of joy. The mistakes my allies made were mistakes of gray matter. Like I'm so happy, this game looks like a win. I can do whatever I want. Oh I died. Oops. That's my that was me. My allies are I got no reason to be here. I'm gonna be I'm I'm just I'm alone. I feel like uh, I feel like this is the thing to do. There's no objectives. There's nothing for me to do here, but I'm gonna be here anyways. I'll be alone. And I'm a squishy champ. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't give it to the Draven. The Draven did a lot of dumb things, but he did have the most kills. Social experience includes chat and gameplay. Teamwork versus intentionally group. Overall, my social experience during my most recent match was negative. Agree. I'm just gonna do strong. Because although this game wasn't negative for me from a chat wise experience, the vast majority of my games are awful from a chat wise, from a social experience. Like, if I could be playing with bots of the same caliber of players that I'm playing with, I would do it in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Because I know there wouldn't be any fucking toxic chat. I know the mistakes are mistakes of AI. Not mistakes because then somebody on the other side is just a dick. Or just somebody on the other side being a dick. And the Draven actually did the most damage. I did not. But of course, the Brand did the most damage on their team. I mean, Brand is a very frustrating champion. Because he was designed for mid lane. But in the support role, he can be as strong as a mid lane champ. In the support role. And keep in mind, they lost in bottom. They lost badly. Okay, maybe they didn't lose badly, but they did lose. No, no, you know what? We're going to say they lost badly. The difference between our bot lane and theirs is nine kills. Nine kills more for our bot lane, two more deaths for our bot lane as well. But I'm going to go ahead and say our bot lane did. Jesus, he was a 21,000 gold. And our Lily, with all of her absurd CSing, was still behind me. And that is absurd CS. Look at this shit. This is insane. How the fuck did she get to 361 CS? Was that the reason why we kept spotting her stupidly in the enemy jungle? Is because she wanted to farm both jungles? <laughs> And she did for the most part. That's crazy. 361 farm? Holy fuck. That is insane. Why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling at me? Oh, you want alcohol, of course. <laughs> Good point. Good point. And Jax, I know you want treats, but you gotta wait another hour.